I got to see two people win belt that I wanted to see. You know, my buddy Seth Rollins, slay the beast. And then watching Kobe Kingston do his thing was cool. I know. I saw your tweet. You said Brock got beat up. What did you think specifically of the Brock Lesnar Seth Rollins match? I thought it was pretty cool to hear Paul Heyman go, I'm going to jump on a jet to Vegas where I'm ultimately appreciated, right? That was a good use of the word ultimate, go for the ultimate fighting championships. But I, I, I thought it was good. You know, I thought Brock, it was such a short match. But to see Brock kind of get, he looked strong a little bit, but to get beat that quick, it's kind of crazy. He never loses that fast. You, Goldberg did, you, actually. Yeah, you know what everybody was saying right when Brock lost. They said, this now opens up a path for DC and Brock to fight. So is that what is going on? I have no idea. I don't know. I know as much as you know. Is that what you want, DC? It's the fight I want, yes. I think everybody wants to fight Brock. You know, we all want to fight Brock. So, yeah, it's the fight. That's the fight that needs to happen. You know, he's a former UFC champ. All, all American in college. This guy is very, very deserving of a of a of a fight, and, and he's going to get it. Hopefully, if Brock's watching this. What do you say to him coming off his loss? Lick those wounds because I got some brand new ones waiting for you. <laughs> and to Dana White, the guy who ultimately can make this fight happen. What do you say to him, DC? Dana, get on the phone right now. If you haven't called him yet. Do it today. What are you waiting for? Let's get this shit on the books. Let's get this on the books. My voice is out because of my, uh, my. I was at a wrestling tournament last weekend. My kids club won the national championship as a team. So no way. I can't really, I still can't talk. Yeah, we had, we had one, two, three, four, three or four national champs. And we had like five kids get second. Little Daniel became an All-American for the first time in his life. It's the biggest deal. With everything you've accomplished in your career, where does, like, seeing your kids and your team having this great success, where does that, like, rank? Do you, does that almost feel better than when you do something yourself? It's so awesome to watch them take the lessons that they're learning daily out of Gilroy, out of AKA, and just apply them to the wrestling mat and apply them to life. You know, these young men and women are – or or. These are lessons they're going to te- take with them through the entirety of their lives. You know, I watched a kid named Daniel Zapata wrestle a kid in the finals that he beat by one point last time four months ago. And yesterday he beat him 14-0. So, to, so I mean, it, they're getting better. You know, I watched little Daniel go from losing his first two matches in October when we went to Vegas to winning his first three and getting to the semifinals eventually becoming a guy that stood on the podium. You know, so I'm watching them all make improvements. And for me, that's the most important thing.